guys let's talk about some other things trending out on social media we got a lot of artists trending in africa right now we got the video dropping two songs and those songs are really classic to an extent he dropped a recent Amman piano song with txc and that song is getting a lot of attention globally that is what a lot of people are really talking about he called that song yevo and the music video for that song is really exciting and inspiring to an extent and a lot of people are saying that david you sure say you go retire after this your album because you promised to retire because many people are really interested in david retiring from music i think david is just making a joke of that that is something i believe about the story that is trending out on social media many people are really responding to this and saying that david you need to give us some more because this guy has promised to drop t studio album and he's getting a headway with it and uh, whiskey is dropping seven studios album but this guy is not on the promotional right now he's been on the wrong side and a lot of people are trying to like you know encourage whiskey to start promoting his album because this time around you need to promote to that is what many people are really saying what is happening in the music industry rema recently yanked off uh, you know maven records and deleted all posts related to maven records on his uh, instagram page and many people are really talking about it and saying that man it's like they are having sad conflicts right now with uh, each other that is don jazzy and uh, rema remember that rema has ranted on social media about some people People trying to clone him and some record label not doing well enough to actually do the originality i think right now people are beginning to point fingers at his uh, you know x record label and some people are really getting concerned about but i'm getting concerned about rema right now because rema is smoking too much you know unlike rema before this guy has taken to smokes and other things and people are saying that maybe he's doing drugs and the rest i think Rema needs to watch himself because getting famous at any age comes with a lot of danger. That is something you need to understand about the whole thing that is trending out on social media. If you are in Rema's shoe, what would you do and what kind of advice would you give to Rema right now? Make sure you put that in the comment section. Remember that Rema's uncle was interviewed at a bank at those states. You know, Rema has been claiming that he came from Benin and not really identifying with the people of Igbanke. His uncle was really interviewed and a lot of people actually uh, put their voice to it and that is trending out on social media. You need to understand that most times what is being done to you by your own people can really you know kind of shape the way you live your life and your belief system. That is something I kind of understand about Rema. Remember that Rema's father died when he was very young and Rema, you know, actually suffered a lot. His uh, elder brother died also. I think those things must have bruised his mindset, his psychology to an extent, and he needs to heal from these things. And his uncle was really like Rema has neglected home and many people are not asking a single question. What did the uncle became to Rema when his father and his brother died? That is something we need to ask right now let's catch a glimpse during before the death of the father I, yes i i reside in the, in the village i was lonely when the father died so we have a very nice uh, uh brother we have one this is Ezekiel Kubo, one that is i said i said the, elder, is the one closer to their father what is your own feeling about this i want you to put out in the comment section because a lot of people are really responding to this and saying that man rema at least make you just remember home now that is what many people are are really saying at a time like this and it's all trending out on social media we got some albums that are really dropping and we got some albums that have really dropped in recent time that is uh born in the wild from thames is 18 songs album that is really getting the attention of many people 14 songs from that album was produced by a ghanaian producer that is something to tell you that ghana still got a lot to offer but they need to put their music industry all right they need to start doing some you know right things about their music industry not on the competition with nigeria right now that is sinking their music industry that is something i will speak about 
next time. But right now, we have a lot of albums and these albums are classic. We have, um, you know, the year I turned 21 from uh, Irasta and that album is getting a lot of international attention right now. Ever since Irasta started her tours, that is what is really big about that. Irasta is one of the biggest female artists in Nigeria in 2024, owing to you know statistics out there right now. That is something we can really understand. And Don Jazzy is doing well enough with Irasta. What are your own takes about my story? I want you to put that in the comment section so that you can talk about it further. Hedis 2024 may be on its way soon and many people are really excited to bring that to us in Nigeria. Hedis 2024, according to them, they said is going to hold in Nigeria and many people are really working behind closed doors to actually make this a possibility in Nigeria out there. And we need some stakeholders to come in and make sponsorship for this kind of uh, event because we need to own headies at the time. But many people are saying that the legal state government has been involved at the headies. We have, you know, um, some people being involved, but the federal government through its Ministry of Culture needs to get involved at this point. That is what many people are really saying. And even the Ministry of Youth, they need to get involved in this because this is a youth thing and this is providing platforms and opportunity for a lot of people out there. The likes of Charlie Poppy may get nominations at this year's Hades. That is one thing I strongly believe about the whole thing. I think the likes of um, you know, Portable may still get nominations. But a lot of others are looking at the likes of Ruga and uh, Buji Benson and also Davido is getting a nomination. Burner Boy is getting a nomination. But I don't know of Whiskey because Whiskey has not made impact in recent time with his music and that is concerning for his fans out there. November 8th. 2024 they are going to be announcing the grammy nominations for 2024 that is going to be a loud one and it's going to be all interesting and a lot of people are really excited saying that the likes of irasta they get a nomination the likes of davido the likes of burner boy the likes of uh, you know ashake and a lot of others what are your own Take about this. I want you to put that in the comment section so that we can talk about it because a lot of people are getting involved in all of this. Before I jump off, I want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below, the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos. I love you guys. Keep supporting Afrobeat blog across social media platforms. Concerning Dreamer, I told them the truth. I myself particularly sometimes you see children it's ah this is not a parima this is not a parima 